Okay guys, Ben here. Um, I haven't seen a good tutorial yet on this, so I'm going to show you how to set up Ubuntu and OwnCloud to run on a virtual server. So here we go. First you're going to need two things, Ubuntu and Oracle. So let's go to Oracle Virtual first. You go, go here and click download. I'm on Windows. I already have it, so I'm not going to download it. All right, now let's go to Ubuntu. I have a 64 64 bit processor, so I'm going to be running um, a 64 bit Ubuntu. So we're going to go with 12.04, um, and I have 64 bit, so click download if you'd like to donate you can if not you can scroll down to the bottom and just download I already have it so I'm gonna cancel all right so let's open up our Oracle after you install everything click new and type in Ubuntu I'm gonna call mine demo you can call yours whatever you want make sure to click Ubuntu 64 bit if you're running 64 bit uh, and click next here you can set the amount of RAM I'm gonna give it two gigs um, just to get everything started so it installs a little bit quicker I'm gonna run the defaults for these two and then when it gets here dynamically allocated is basically like it's going to create the hard disk as you create the files fixed is it will create the whole hard disk first I'm gonna click dynamically allocated to make the setup go a little bit quicker I would recommend to use fixed if you're gonna be using this for own cloud so set how many gigs you want and call it what you like and click next so once it's there let's go in let's change the network to bridged adapter make sure you have your own mac address things like that uh, click ok to make sure that goes through um, go to system then processor i'm going to give it two just to make the install go a little bit faster and then here under acceleration if you have uh, these make sure they're enabled in your bios and that your processor is going to take that so uh, that's going to be checked there uh, click OK and then go to storage and mount your Ubuntu disk here's my hard disk drive and I'm going to mount Ubuntu AMD 64 which means that it's 64 bit not that it has to be AMD we're going with Ubuntu desktop because it has a GUI kind of makes things a little bit easier you could use what you want but this is going to be for the desktop next I'll probably do Debian so let's start this okay so this is the first screen is going to give you I'm going to do it in English and click install make sure these checks are here um, and you could download updates while installing you're going to be doing this later but not necessarily in this tutorial I'm going to leave these third-party softwares out for uh, own cloud you don't necessarily need them so and you did just create this disk, so it doesn't matter if you erase everything and here's our hard drive that we're going to be installing on that we created earlier and click install now then to select your time um, it's gonna ask you which time zone you want and then your keyboard you could detect keyboard I don't because I know mine is English US US but if you would like you can and then set up your username I'm going to set up mine as demo demo just for this tutorial everything will be demo don't get confused when I put in the passwords a little bit later with SQL but so um, I always cl click uh, require password to log in you could do whichever you like um, I just do this so next alright so my install is complete I'm going to click restart now here it'll state uh, to remove any media uh, it should have automatically removed the media you could check here mine's not there so I'm gonna click enter to continue so mine is booted up we're gonna go through a few things first to set up the virtual box in Ubuntu so first first thing we're gonna do we're gonna run what is called the guest edition it kinda just helps this virtual box run a little bit better on 
our Oracle. So click run and put in your password. Mine are all demo here. This is going to take a moment right here. Um, so let's, while that's happening, let's go here and make our connection static. This right now is dynamic. So here's our IP address. We want to keep that IP address so when we're trying to log on later, we can, you know, we're able to. I'm wired um, in this setup I have here. So I'm going to go to edit, IPv4, manual, add and then add the IP address. Our net mask is our subnet mask, which is right here. And the gateway is your default route. Whenever I have virtual machines, it kind of gives me this DNS here. I'm just gonna go with the actual DNS which is my default route in my network. It might be different in yours. So once you're done with that, um, this area may be grayed out. Just click and unclick available to all users and usually that'll fix that. So hit save and it should say connected. That's good. And this is finished, so hit enter. So the last thing before we reboot, let's go to devices, shared clipboard and bidirectional. All right, so let's reboot our system. Actually, right before we reboot it, let's check, do an if config, and make sure that our IP is correct. So now we could reboot. Okay, so mine is booted up. Let's put in our password, mine is demo. So here we have it. Let's open up our terminal. And the first thing we're going to do is do an if config command to check that our IP address stayed, which is good. Next, we could eject our VirtualBox additions, and now we're going to install our LAMP server and our PHP. So, since we're on Ubuntu, we have to do a sudo command. So, apt get install and lamp server. Put in your password. Okay, so we'll get to this screen. This is your MySQL root user. I'm going to put in the password a demo, but you could make it whatever you want. Um, just make sure to remember this password. This is a very important one. Okay, so mine's done. Now let's install our PHP. Alright, so that's done. Now next we're going to install our, our own cloud. So let's go to owncloud.org and then go to host your own cloud yourself. Linux packages next. We're using Ubuntu. And just copy this here. And paste it. If you are if you close the terminal, reopen it, it will ask for your password and then it might just do nothing. Just repaste it in there and it'll do the install. So coming up here, it's going to kind of like finish and then do fill out a command for us. And if you read it, it's just sudo apt get install the um, own cloud package there. So if you give it a moment, here we are and click enter and click yes when it asks. Okay, so mine is done. Um, that's pretty much it. Now we're just going to set it up on our on our Windows. Make sure you have your IP address. Let's copy that and go to our Windows. Paste slash own cloud. Okay, so this security warning we're going to go over in a different tutorial. So for now, we're just going to skip over that. So my admin account is going to be Ben, password demo, database user was root, password was demo, and the name I will make own cloud. 
and this is where it's going to be set up which is fine with the default um, on our Ubuntu server so let's hit finish so once we're in it and we know it's kind of working let's go and download our desktop app so let's go here and download our desktop app I already have it so I'm just going to go to my downloads and click run and I run the defaults you could choose what you like I'm just going to run the defaults completed and run own cloud so here it is right here um, so your address is your server slash own cloud which is the directory and make sure to do HTTP and next the username I set was Ben and demo and this is the local folder it's going to create for me which is fine so connect and open the local folder so let's see if it's syncing up so here we have our own cloud and let's go into documents and here's our local folder documents example let's rename to example example test and let's refresh this there we have it and made the change and it seems to be working so you pretty much have own cloud set up on your server next uh, later on I'm going to do a tutorial on how to explain dynamic IP addresses and getting DNS's to point to them and things like that please subscribe to the Ben May uh, on YouTube and you know keep posted good luck guys